Hey y'all, my name's Mandy. I'm an organizer with Decarcerate Louisiana and I wanted to talk to you about Decarcerate Louisiana and what we have going on in the near future. Um, Decarcerate Louisiana was founded by prisoners inside Angola prison system in Louisiana. They formed this organization in order to work for an end to prison slavery to gain full recognition of prisoners' inalienable human rights and to ultimately abolish the entire prison industrial complex. We seek to divest money and resources away from prisons, police, mass surveillance, and militarism in order to reinvest those resources into communities that have been systematically plundered and enslaved by the forces of American colonialism, racism, and capitalism. So the organization Decarcerate Louisiana has been around for a while. Um, recently, we had to change the name to Alamba Gabo, which is one of the founders of Decarcerate. Someone reported Decarcerate Louisiana as being a fake name to Facebook, so we changed the name to Alamba Gabo. So that's what you'll see now. Um, sorry if it caused any confusion, but that's the story behind that. Um, the reason I'm wearing this orange jumpsuit is because we have um, something going on called Operation Jumpsuit. We are ordering these prison orange jumpsuits. You can get them on Amazon, um, different companies. Just There's a, a link on our Facebook page that you can order from. What we're doing is we're stenciling or just writing in with a Sharpie hashtag, free my people on the front and decarcerate Louisiana on the back. You can see mine's kind of cockeyed, but oh well. Um, and we're wearing these to any direct actions we take place in. When we put up posters for our rally we have going on, we're wearing these to draw attention to what's going on in this country, the new slavery and mass incarceration, the prison industrial complex, um, the need for defunding the police, all of those issues. Um, I have a message to read you about Operation Jumpsuit from Alamba. Attention to all freedom riders and freedom loving people. Decarcerate Louisiana organizers are leading a demonstration and protest against the war on poverty, war on drugs, and war on crime that deceived and manipulated American citizens into believing that the goal was to protect public health and safety, but actually it turns out to be an unjust policy directing monies from community, community development to surveillance, police, and the prison enterprise system. This policy of disinvestment has come to be known among the affected communities as the new Jim Crow, the ghetto to prison pipeline, and or the new conservatism. It is also seen as a capitalist funding scheme and a transition from antebellum slavery to modern day enslavement in the prison enterprise system. Therefore, let us protest against the surveillance, police, jail, and prison enterprise system by wearing orange jumpsuits, converging at city hall, criminal district courts, public and sheriff departments, and other public places to call attention to our demands for redirecting tax dollars from the carceral state to the development and improvement of our communities, ending slavery in the prisons, abolishing life without parole, and all sentences that deny re-entry into society. So please order a jumpsuit. Just free my people, hashtag free my people on the front, decarcerate Louisiana on the back. Uh, reach out to us at decarcerate Louisiana at gmail.com or 337-912-8979 for more information on how you can get involved. These jumpsuits will also be worn to our rally on October 28th at the Baton Rouge Old Capitol. We have speakers there, big rally. We'll be marching there from there to the new Capitol, October 28th, 11 a.m. So again, wear the jumpsuits. Um, and these are some of the banners we have had made. So this is the one for Operation Jumpsuit. Um, rally to end slavery in the Louisiana criminal justice system. And then this one right here is the one we want to get a mural painted of in South Baton Rouge. Uh, we have the artists that can do it. We need to raise $800. So please donate to our GoFundMe page. And then we have this banner. So all the money that we did have donated recently 
um, or in the last year for to our GoFundMe page for Decar Street Louisiana has been used, as you can see, for banners and then posters that you'll be seeing put up around the communities. And then the rest will be used in whatever else we make for the mural. Um, so please get involved. Power to the people.